people say medical aid is a scam because they don't cover X, Y, and Z. Ah, medical aid is the worst, you know. So, Nani, welcome back to Money Matters with me. So, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, happy New Year! I think this is the first video I've recorded for the channel. So, Happy New Year! <laughs> Um, yeah, I hope you're having a good one, no matter what's happening, you know, coming in your direction. And yes, yes, if you do want to see like more of me, guys, I, I, I do have another channel, like a personal channel. Um, I don't know if I can link it somewhere. I'll link it somewhere where it's linkable, okay? In today's video, I will be doing a video about medical aid. Uh, yes 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 but before I get started please remember that I am NOT a financial advisor okay I am just a girl who knows a thing or two who wants you to know a thing or two as well so yeah so I'm sure all of us have gotten sick at some point or all of us have seen a doctor a nurse someone in the medical profession because we have gotten sick and we've had to pay for it one way or another or maybe you didn't have to pay for it because it was a public facility which are normally free and if you are a medical aid user i'm sure there has been a time where you've had to take out cash and you're like why i pay medical aid or you have heard people say medical aid is a scam because they don't cover x y and z or medical aid is a scam because my hospital bill was fifty thousand and they only paid five thousand why would they do that ah medical aid is the worst you know we've all heard all of that and valid because why would they do that <laughs> but there's a reason for everything in as much as I don't know. I don't know if it's a scam or not. I'm not there. But personally, as someone who has benefited a lot from medical aid, I will say that I am a little bit, a little bit biased. Just, just a, a smidge of bias. But I will give you the pros and cons, the ins and outs, as much as I can, but in a simplified way. Obviously, this is not to say whether or not you should get medical aid or whether or not or oh, which kind of medical aid you will get this is just one of those things that will help you be more informed when you want to make that decision first things first what is medical aid medical aid is a medical insurance where you pay a monthly contribution and they in turn help you pay for medical treatments the medical treatments will vary from day-to-day -day pharmacy over-the-counter stuff to like big surgeries, hospital stays, etc, etc, depending on the benefits and the cover that you get. So generally medical aids will have different will have different packages or different benefits depending on how much you pay. They're usually tiered from like a very low level basic cover, maybe they cover just like um five doctor's visits, one dental appointment, and etc, etc. And then you get big, bigger ones where you can cover family members and you can cover like bigger amounts um, in terms of the medical expenses. Now obviously the more they cover, the more that you will pay for your medical aid. And also different medical aids have different terms and conditions of how much they cover. So they can limit the amount they cover if they say maybe we will pay for your doctor's visits or we will pay for your hospital pay your hospital stay up to a certain amount and then the rest is on you if it goes above that it is on you but those are things that are usually set out when you are signing up even before you sign up when they are advertising they usually do set out all those things so you need to know that before you go to the doctor or before you do a medical procedure just know how much of it they are covering or if they're even covering it at all because sometimes it's things that are excluded this obviously helps you make a, a more informed decision if you are someone who's planning to have kids soon i'm sure you're not gonna take out a medical aid that won't cover like your maternity needs you know like or if they limited to like a small amount you want to take out a cover that 
cares about your needs if you are someone with a heart condition you don't want to take out a medical aid that covers like five thousand rand in terms of heart stuff because that won't be enough you know what i'm saying so those are things that you need to consider like your health and your needs matter before you take a medical aid but also they do charge you according to your medical needs sometimes sometimes they do yeah they will do an assessment and then um depending on how healthy or sick you are they charge you according to that so now obviously like everything in this world there are pros and cons to having medical aid and i'm gonna start off with the pros the pros are that they help you pay for those unexpected medical costs. I cannot tell you the amount of times I have had like 40 cents in my bank account and I, I got sick. And if I didn't have medical aid, I was just going to sit in my bed and try not to die. But because I had medical aid, I was able to, you know, pay for the medication, the doctor's consultation and all of that stuff. The other thing is that you are able to get, I want to say, easier access to like treatments um, because you are able to go to like private institutions and pay for that. You are able to get a procedure quicker because you don't have to wait until you have enough money to go and get the procedure or you don't have to wait um, for like facilities, like resources to become available maybe in, in the government hospitals like you just have easier access to treatments because you have medical aid now the cons the cons are that it can be quite expensive especially if you're someone with a family or someone with a lot of medical needs the contribution the monthly premium can get quite pricey so it is really not for everyone i'm not here propaganda ring you guys to get medical aid no the other thing is that there are sometimes co-payments so i don't know if it has ever happened to you where you go to the doctor and then maybe they cost 1000 rand and then they tell you you have to pay like 300 rand because your medical aid is only going to pay 700 rand so those are what co-payments are which is a con because you feel like I think that's why people feel like there might be scams they are a scam because why am I paying I'm paying the medical aid already to do this why am I paying extra so for me what I always try to do is before I even go to a doctor I will call and ask them um, I'll call and ask them to check if they take my medical aid and then sometimes they'll come back and be like yeah no it's all good or they'll come back and say there's a co-payment of this much and then I'll go to another doctor and usually your medical aid um has like certain doctors that uh, they have an agreed amount on so you won't have to pay uh, extra or they have a, a doctor's i want to say it's a society but i know that's not the word they have like a group of doctors which they work with and they accept um your medical aid without extra stuff <laughs> without extra payments from you um with discovery you can get it on the discovery app like if you go on the discovery app you'll see you have your medical aid linked there and then if you are looking for a doctor in your area you just have the type of doctor you want so they'll give you a list of doctors and then they'll tell you there if they cover there's no cover the partial cover um if they're on some kind of program like a mental health program or hospitalization what 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 which i don't really understand but they'll tell you those things i don't know about the other medical aids maybe they do have something similar like that but you can check if the doctor accepts your payment or you can just call the doctor and tell them i have this medical aid what's good or yeah if it's um yeah if it's a doctor you go to maybe you want a specific procedure they can also check that for you okay okay because medical aids don't pay for everything um it would be a good idea to get like gap cover I'm not saying go and get gap cover i'm saying it's a good idea to look look into it don't get it because i said get it look into gap cover so what is gap cover gap cover is basically an insurance as well medical insurance that pays for the gap 
between what your doctor charges and what your medical aid ends up costing so if you need i don't know a shoulder surgery okay and the shoulder surgery is 15,000 rand but your medical aid only covers shoulder treatments or shoulder surgeries up to 10,000 rand which is something they set out in their benefit in Don't Don't. Um, then your gap cover will pay for the 5,000 rand it's obviously extra money um, so it's it's not for everyone and yeah I mean it would be beneficial but it's also like medical aid get it together okay now, if you're not someone who is interested in medical aids or you're not someone who can afford medical aid or whatever the case may be there are alternatives to medical aid or you just prefer an alternative um the first alternative is using obviously government facilities government hospitals and clinics they're usually very good um there is a, a bit of a lack of resources so they might be understaffed or there might be certain medicines that they don't have or it might take a while to get an appointment because of that because of like a lack of resources i think you can get quite a um like your issues sorted <laughs> but anyway, i'm sorry I, I don't know why i'm out of words like you can get your issues sorted you can get treated um yeah so that's the first alternative the other alternative is a hospital plan now a hospital plan is also an insurance that you pay into monthly but it literally covers hospital stays it does not cover like your day-to-day -day medicines and consultation with your general practitioner um so those you'd have to pay out of pocket but i know some people do prefer to do the hospital plan for those big emergency hospital treatments and then for day to day you just have like your own little savings account where you can um take from this was just basically like a, a very brief lowdown of, of what a medical aid is and understanding whether you need one or you don't need one or helping you like ask those questions yes, i do hope that you found this video helpful if you did give it a thumbs up let me know if you have any questions. I'll try my best to answer them the best way I can. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe, share, and all of that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching.